Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, guys. I'm having a pretty good day. I'm feeling good, except I've got this weird lump on my lip and it's stopping me from talking properly and it's really annoying. <laughs> but anyway, today's video, we're actually going to be looking at the new Season 5 confirmed features, LTMs and more that are going to be added into Fortnite Battle Royale, like I said, in Season 5. These are very interesting things. Some of you guys may not actually know that these are getting added, so you know, this information might be helpful for you so that you can flex on your friends and be like, listen, I know what's coming, bro. Calm your shit down. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to be talking about all of that in today's video. But before we do get into today's video, guys, I would like to announce that I've got a huge $100 Season 5 Battle Pass giveaway going on with a good friend of mine by the name of Happy Power. He's another YouTuber that does similar content to me. We've teamed up together to actually do this giveaway. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, go into the description below. There will be a link at the top saying giveaway. Click on that and it will give you all of the information that you guys need to know about the giveaway itself. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, don't forget to leave a like if you do end up enjoying this video and let's get into talking about these confirmed features, LTMs and more. Uh, so first one that we're actually going to be talking about is one that a lot of people have been asking about for quite a while and this is that the playground mode is coming in Season 5. A lot of people thought, you know, once they introduced the playground mode into the patch notes, it would come out pretty much that weekend. Well, it seems like Epic Games are actually having a bit of a hard time getting this game mode to grips with it. Like, they're having a really bad trouble with it. Like, basically what it is is that there's only four players in this actual game mode, right? But... If you think about it, if there's four players going into the playground mode, that means that they need more servers. And uh, obviously, they're finding it a little bit difficult to kind of balance this out. So it's going to take a little bit of time, and I've pretty much estimated it to be Season 5. If not Season 5, the very, very end of Season 4 at the earliest. Okay, so yeah, for those of you who've been wondering about that, that is pretty much when I believe and Epic believe they're going to be releasing the Playground mode. So it could very well be Season 4. I mean, they could obviously make some very big advancements on it and release it early. But as of right now, Season 5, the confirmed LTM is going to be Playground mode. So yeah, remember that, guys. Now, another thing that has been leaked a couple of days ago, they've actually made significant in the kind of advancements on the skin slash V-Bucks gifting feature that they plan to add in to Fortnite Battle Royale. And this would make my V-Bucks giveaways so much more easier because obviously not many people have PayPal. And that really kind of angers me because I want to give V-Bucks away, but not many people do have PayPal. And sometimes, you know, buying gift cards can get a little bit tedious. So once they actually add skin slash V-Bucks gifting into Fortnite, Battle Royale, which they do plan by the way, and they plan to do it in Season 5, then I will be able to do so much more giveaways when I can actually afford them. So yeah, if you didn't already know about it, yeah, they've actually made a lot of advancements on this, and if you go into the in-game files, under this section that basically kind of announces gifting features into Battle Royale, you can see that over the last month, there's been so much more information added into this. So you can obviously tell that they are making progression on this, and I think personally that we could end up seeing it at the end of Season 4 so that, you know, friends can actually buy Season 5 Battle Passes for their friends. But as of right now, it looks like Season 5 is going to be the season that the skin slash V-Bucks gifting is going to be a thing. So very, very interesting indeed. Now, another thing, this is one that you guys definitely probably don't know about. I say definitely, then I say probably. Yeah, does it make sense, Star-Lord? Shut your face. Uh, but basically, a uh, Victory Royale screen. So, you guys may not know what I'm talking about here, but if you did read the last patch notes, basically, what Fortnite developers, uh, Epic Games, are planning to do is that once you win a game in Fortnite Battle Royale, the Victory Royale screen is going to be very, very different from what we remember. I mean, obviously, you guys know now that if you do get a Victory Royale, it basically just pops up on the screen. You can dance for around about five seconds, but then that's pretty much it. Well, it actually turns out that they're actually going to be making it a lot better, and they're going to be making it so it's more cool, more rewarding, and a lot more stuff. So yeah, it looks like when we actually get that dub, we're going to be seeing a very different Victory Royale screen in Season 5 compared to what we've seen from Season 1 
all the way up to season four. So I'm very excited about that, to be honest. I don't know what they have planned, but basically all I can imagine is that if you are in a squad game or something, it would be you and your squad members kind of pulling off a cool pose or something stupid like that and kind of, you know, being all suave and everything. So yeah, very excited about that. Now, another thing that they really announced, and it was a very brief announcement, was that more evolving skins are coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. And if you guys don't know what I mean about that, uh, let's say, for example, the Omega skin. You know, the Omega skin was very cool because it was the first kind of skin where we could evolve it. You know, we could unlock different parts to that skin. And it's the, kind of the same for the, uh, the Carbide. You know, we could unlock different things, different parts for that skin. Well, in the last Battle Patch kind of notes, uh, they actually said that they plan to add in a lot more characters that evolve and uh, you can unlock different kind of things for them so you know for example you know if they you you unlock a character they may not have a helmet on at first but it actually turns out that yes you can actually put a helmet on them in the end and that you have to unlock it by playing the game by actually progressing in fortnite battle royale by getting kills by getting wins by getting xp so it looks like we're gonna see a lot more skins that are kind of like the omega and the carbide in terms of progression and armor pieces and all that kind of stuff so that's one thing i am very excited for probably the most exciting thing that they're going to be adding in season five to be honest so yeah very very cool now this other thing is actually one that not a lot of people are going to be hyped about, but for those of you who are very competitive in Fortnite Battle Royale, we actually did have com a confirmation that they're going to be doing a lot more solo showdown matches in Fortnite Battle Royale. And this is actually something that a lot of people, a lot of the community have been very happy about, because you basically get to win free V-Bucks and you get exclusive things if you play up to 50 matches in this game mode. So basically, Solo Showdown, for those of you who don't know, is actually a playlist where it's a competitive playlist. And if you get the first place in all of the world playing this game mode, you will actually win, I think it's around about 20,000 V-Bucks or 10,000 V-Bucks, absolutely free from the developers themselves. And if you only play 50 matches in this game mode, so let's for example, you get in the game, you play 50 matches and you die all of those 50 matches. That doesn't matter. You actually still get a reward at the end of it, which is a brand new kind of emote, a skin, something like that. You know, they're actually gonna be doing a lot more of this in the future. And personally for me, I think that maybe in the future you will actually get some exclusive skins for actually playing solo showdown. So I don't know, maybe in the future when I'm doing my live streams on my Facebook, I will most likely play a lot of solo showdown. Even if I don't win, you know, whatever the reward is at the end of it must be good. I definitely know that due to the recent feedback of the spray paints being kind of crappy, they are definitely looking into making it more better for actually playing the 50 games of Solo Showdown. So yeah, pretty interesting. Now I am gonna be leaving, I am gonna, I am gonna be leaving this video on one last confirmed feature that they're gonna be adding into Fortnite Battle Royale, and that is more backpacks in the game. And if you guys don't already know, the backpacks are the things like, you know, the jetpack, that was a backpack, I guess. And um, there wasn't any more added into the game, actually. Is there any backpacks in this game at the minute? I don't think there is. Holy crap. Yeah, there's no backpacks in this game anymore. Well, anyway, we do have confirmed backpacks such as the Eye of the Storm backpack, the Medic backpack, and the Missile backpack. These are all going to be things that they're adding into Season 5 because they want to. They want to add in this new mechanic where, you know, you can actually have a defibrillator backpack on your back where you can kind of revive your teammates instantly. But not only that... Once the backpack actually runs out of power, it will automatically destroy. So, you know, they don't last all game. So anyway, like I was saying, sorry, I had to take some water there. My voice was going all croaky and everything like that. It still is right now. Why are you doing this to me, voice? Uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, missile backpacks and all that kind of stuff will make an appearance in Season 5 of Fortnite Battle Royale. And I'm very excited for all of these confirmed features, to be honest. I mean, mostly, it's got to be the playground mode. I mean, I know for a fact that you guys are very happy about that. 
But um, not only that, the evolving skins too. I really cannot wait for those to be added into the game. Uh, but anyway guys, I would like to say, comment down below what your favourite confirmed feature, LTM or anything else that has been added into Fortnite Season 5. Like, tell me what you would like to see and what you're most hyped about. Like I said, mine's the evolving skins and the playground modes and the V-Bucks gifting. You know, that's also a pretty cool thing that they're adding. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video guys. Have an awesome day and until next time... I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya.